Hey everybody, welcome back to Craft Beret. Today I got something very exciting to show you. Saint Smart sent me their brand new Jin Mitsu 3020 Ultra CNC, and I am so pumped to show you what it can do. So let's begin. As you can see, the 3020 Pro Ultra arrived in amazing packaging. It was easy to take out. Um, I am going to say it is a great feeling so far of the machine. Uh, it's made to cut metal, which is right up my alley because I work with wood and I'm trying to get into a little bit of aluminum work and that's what this is for. Okay, this thing is completely upgradable and I'm gonna tear it all apart after I just got it put together to kind of show you guys how easy it was to put together the base model. Now I did get some extensions to make the bed a little longer and I got a duck shoe, the dust extractor shoe for it and a spoiler board so I can cut wood without marring up the aluminum top. So let me add those on. Okay, there's a couple of things. I just got done doing the upgrades that I have gotten with this machine I made the bed a little longer a couple upgrades on this machine that are different from the others is now with the new spindle the 710 watt spindle variable speeds it goes down to 7,000 rpms which what I know from running um, my other CNC's the slower you can get your spindle the better for a lot of different applications I'm gonna do a test piece right now I'm using the software easel because that's what I'm familiar with. They also have software. I was, I was playing around with it a little bit. It came with the machine. Okay, another couple things I wanna add. It's really cool that all the knobs, you can manually adjust everything. It's also got this keypad here. That is super nice offline controls so you can move the machine, especially when you're working on something like this where like easel software, you're not sure where home is. You have to set it where your home is. You can get your bit lined up exactly on your piece to make sure it's your design is centered um, and this is so nice this dust collection all it was is it screws down tight down here onto the spindle and it's got two magnets that this just pops on just like that with the two magnets it's pretty on there pretty tight I won't be using this so we can watch them bit but um, for my own personal use I'll be using that to keep a lot of the dust from flying in the air that is a really nice add-on. Now let's try... Okay, so the CNC just got done cutting a test part out of some cherry, and it did perfect. Um, just got done, we'll move the head out of the way, and I'll show you what it looks like. As you can see, that looks really great, just right on the cherry like that. It's a little bit of fuzziness, that's okay. Sand that down really quick and it'll come up perfect. 20 degree V-bit that came with the machine did such a great job. That. 
usually if I was going to do a carving like that, I'd do a relief cut. I let it do with a flat bottom. It took a little bit longer to do that, but it, it came out really smooth. Huh. All right, so let's. Uh, I'm going to set up another file, and I have this piece of aluminum. We'll give a shot. Or I might do another piece of wood first. I found a piece of ash that I'm going to make a little guitar tray. Um, I put blue tape on the back and I put blue tape on the bed. Now I'm going to do that because I'm still new to this machine and I don't trust myself too much. Um, I don't want to hit one of the clamps. I really like them. They're really nice. But to have a bit carve this much material, I'm not sure if it's going to hit one of the clamps as it's going down. Just to be safe, I'm going to do one of my favorite tips, tricks to when I'm carving stuff all the way down. I'm just going to use uh, super glue and blue tape. Is I put the blue tape down on here and I put the blue tape on here and I just glue the two together. Give me a really strong clamp. Alright, got some super glue on there. And I'm just going to flip it over, push down on that for a second. I usually give this about 30 seconds. And as you can see, it's on there pretty good. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing, especially if you think this video is helpful and you find that you might want to share this to somebody who's looking for a machine. Um, I will have links to this machine in the description below. Okay, so if just finished doing the carve of the little guitar tray. Now, I'm gonna say this is awesome, um, but let me just show you before I take it off. Now that I got it a little closer, I'm going to take it off the bed. Look at that. Didn't even leave a mark on the spoiler board. That lets me know this is really accurate. Yeah, cut all the way through, leaving the tabs. So now I can just go in there and cut those little tabs off. And uh, yeah, I have a little guitar tray. I do want to mention they also sent over this uh, wireless control. I wanted to try this, um, but I can't reach my Wi-Fi from here. Once my shop gets a little bit better organized, I'm going to give this a shot. But they do have a wireless control that you can control this machine with your phone or tablet. I, I can't wait to try this. Okay, so we just pulled this out of the machine. I'm getting ready to cut the tabs. I wanted to show one of my favorite tools for get, removing tabs. I got one of these. Um, I don't even know what they're called, but I'll have a link in the description of the same one I'm using. But it's easy to fit the blade in and just cut the tabs out. It leaves a little bit there that cleans up with the router really easily. But look at that finish. A little bit of sanding, that is almost flawless. Okay, this is probably one of the coolest things I've ever tried to do is cut some aluminum. I got a piece of aluminum plate here. Um, I've never tried to cut metal before. I don't really know the feeds and speeds. I did tell them that I had no metal cutting bits. And they sell the bits and everything you need for cutting metal. I got these double fluted uh, metal cutting bits that they sent over, uh, Saint Smart did. And I'm gonna try to use one to cut a aluminum cog out of this. Now, what we're gonna do here is get it sized up right on the software I'm using. All right. What I'm gonna do now is get a size to the software I'm using. Um, I'm gonna probe this down and uh, start cutting some aluminum. It's just amazing to think about that. I'm gonna cut aluminum. So, let's see what happens. <laughs> Okay, that just got done carving aluminum. Yes, aluminum. This is amazing. Um, first attempt didn't go so well. Uh, I broke a bit. Right off the bat, broke a bit. Now, they claim that this machine could do 1.5 millimeters in one pass, which is probably possible. I tried it. I don't know if I have the machine going too slow. There's too many variables and I'm still new to learning aluminum. I went down to one millimeter, didn't break a bit, didn't cut through all the way. 
um, I've realized the piece of aluminum that I have is different sizes throughout the whole thing. So a way to get around that is get the size you want and put the probe there. I, I moved the machine over to where I was carving so I could cut all the way through. Now, I don't know what it looks like, but we'll pull it off the bed here. So here it is. As you can see here, it's got a really nice finish if that's what you're looking for. But it didn't cut all the way through because this side was thicker than this side. But then I just brought the probe over here, but it also gets thicker because there's a little lip here. So it's not the machine, it's definitely the material that I'm using. My little cog got cut out, so <laughs> look how cool that is. All right, I just want to say that they, Saint Smart sent me this machine just to try out and give my opinion on. And I, I just want to say, this has got to be the coolest thing I've ever made with my CNC's. Now, being able to cut metal, I mean, I want to inlay this into a stick or like, I don't know, some sort of something I want to make. I want to make a bunch of gears and inlay it in some wood. I thought that would be really cool. Something about gears just, I, I don't know, I've always been obsessed with. but. We can get some gears and something. This just gives me more opportunities. Um, I got some brass on its way. I want to try. After I saw this, I ordered some brass. Um, I really thought about making my logo into uh, something I can heat up with a torch and burn into wood. Um, now I have this capability. I just want to say thanks again to Saint Smart for sending me this. Uh, I have all the links in the description below. And um, yeah. I hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time with another Crafted by Ray video.